Digital transformation is the rage. Everyone is talking about becoming more digital. And most companies are making an effort to do so. The important thing is to get on the right track and do the things that will make the most difference to your customers, to your market, to your profitability, to your success as a company. Estamos muy contentos que por segundo año consecutivo hemos logrado organizar este, este tremendo seminario con la visita de ejecutivos top del mundo que nos vienen a contar cómo están aplicando esto de la disrupción digital y de las nuevas tecnologías en sus compañías. We're just delighted at ESE to have uh, this amazing leadership forum around digital transformation. We've been able to gather uh, the leaders of world-class companies to come and share their experiences and their visions uh, with those leading uh, our local companies. La suerte que tenemos expositores locales, empresas, altos ejecutivos de altas, de grandes empresas en Chile, que nos vienen a contar cómo han aplicado inteligencia artificial, cómo han aplicado temas de blockchain, cómo están afrontando esto desde el punto de vista cultural en sus compañías y cómo han generado beneficios y resultados concretos aplicados en su, tanto en operación como mejoran ofertas de clientes, etc. En toda esta problemática de la transformación digital, lo que está cambiando en, el, en los distintos mercados, la verdad es que para mí ha sido muy nutritivo poder eh, escuchar otros puntos de vista, eh, casos prácticos, enfoques diferentes. I think big takeaways from this event uh, was the fact that we're still very early in the cycle. Uh, there's a lot of testing, there's a lot of failure, uh, there's a lot of innovation that is happening at companies willing to take risks and, and lead the change across industries. Um, I think a lot of topics that we discussed here were around cultural change and, and industry support around leading digitization across supply chain. I think the challenges are very interesting and what we are seeing is a revolution in course. I think the group of digital supply chain is able to help the companies to have these conversations at a level practical. We are really sure that they're getting a lot from exchanging their ideas and experiences and visions uh, and uh, it will be of great value uh, from from what they're doing now. Pienso que lo que vamos a ver del punto de vista de eh, cómo el entrenamiento de las personas puede hacer mejoras en el proceso de change management en las empresas es algo bastante clave y también evidentemente cómo eh, podemos seguir utilizando la inteligencia artificial de una manera más eh, abrangente. The Digital Supply Chain Institute is very unusual. It's an organization that's not for profit. It's not trying to sell people, technology, or things. It's all about objective advice and experience that comes through working for companies in different sectors with different ideas and different approaches. And from that emerge some best practices. Prior to coming to Santiago this time, we had convened a global supply chain community of companies from a number of different countries and across five different continents. Digital Supply Chain Institute has done really uh, a great work in a sense of connecting and opening what GDPR brings to the table and how companies can readjust in order to continue doing business and grow uh, in that aspect. There's no doubt that digitalization, artificial intelligence, and machine learning are going to have major impacts on all industries and all companies within those industries. So my advice to CEOs and board members in today's environment is you need to begin the innovation process. You need to start with the learning, you need to get a common view of the data. I cut that could be your customer, it could be your product's use by your customers. Whatever definition you choose, but come up with a strategy and a use case and begin the process of agility and learning quickly on how to apply these technologies. It seems to me from the conference here that solutions are unique to each company in each industry. Uh, there are concepts that apply across industries, uh, but each industry requires some specialization uh, to deliver on the value that each firm is looking to, to deliver on uh, and all the gaps and, and challenges trying to be answered in industry today. You need a whole new, whole new set of employees that understand how to make decisions with data, not just based on intuition. Uh, we have tools around how to use blockchain, a, a whole set of things that allow you to do a better job, go faster, and with less cost than you otherwise could have.
Santiago 2, the just concluded ELF, has added another 13 companies to this global supply chain community. And we're excited to be able to convene them with this large community of companies, all of whom are trying to move to the future.